Hello guys. Hi. I am moving and hence why today I'm doing an apartment tour. It was requested for a couple of months, but I haven't done it and I'm sorry about that, but better late than never. <coughs> Welcome to my humble abode that will be for the next three weeks and no longer afterwards. In this household, we wear slippers, okay? So take off your shoes. Thank you. Also, I'm wearing the ugliest outfit as well as no bra. So, baby, I'm home. Anyways, this is the entrance as you can see. It's extremely small. There's barely enough space to only open the door. And then you make your way and then there's a second door right here. Also, I'm filming on my phone and I can't see anything. I'm so sorry. Yeah, so this is the door. And then from here, you can see the hallway, but we're just gonna make a left turn. And here we are into the main room. Okay, welcome into the main room. This is basically my office. Right over here, there used to be a desk, but I sold it to my cousin and she picked it up yesterday. I thought I was gonna have enough time to get my camera back so I could film this video for you before the desk was gone. But just picture it right here, little desk, right? Okay, cool. There was a desk right here. And then right over here now, everything is like, just laying on the floor because I don't have anywhere else to put it. I have to start packing, so that's what I'm doing right now. This desk right here, this is my work desk. This is where I work my life away. I work from home. It's cozy, it's dandy, it works fine. But um, this year, very, very sad. Uh, there's two wheels missing at the bottom and it's not comfortable at all. Okay, let's do a little turn. Boom, 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 boom. This is the fan I was using during the summertime because it was extremely hot and there's no AC in here. The big beautiful window, which brings a little bit of serotonin, but not that much because quite frankly, it's mostly cloudy all the time. So when I do get a little bit of sun, uh, it's not even direct sun, it's just a little bit of shade. And then we have this thing right here. This is from Target from many years ago, just to um, sort of help you out here. It was back when Target was in Canada. Uh, R.I.P. Target, Canada. Yeah, so I just source all my books, my skincare and whatnot. Once again, there's just so many things on the floor around it because yeah, I'm going through that stuff. Yay. Oh, by the way, I did not mention, but this table, this table right here, found it on the streets. Then if we do a little switcheroo right here, we have a mirror, which is from Walmart. And this is where I look at myself and admire myself and see if my fit is okay. Now let's go into the bedroom. This is my room and pretty much everything in this room is the exact same as my bedroom back at home because I just grabbed everything Put it here, literally just translated, translated, transplanted my room from my parents' house to here. This thing right here, it's originally from Ikea, but I got it on Facebook Marketplace. This mirror is also from Target from many years ago. We got the bed, which is from Ikea, but my mom also got it from Facebook Marketplace. And the only addition right here, this is from Ikea and I did purchase this when I moved in here because I needed, I needed a nightstand. So yeah, a little mushroom lamp, also from Ikea. This print, bought it on Etsy, uh, and I got it printed at Staples. Yeah. We got a couple of books right here. I've actually read half of those books right here, so that's, so that's flex. This is where I plug all my stuff. Anyways. Let's bring you a little bit closer. If I want to grab my clothes, it's a normal day. I just move this to the side right here which is why I wanted something with wheels. And then I just open the closet, which doesn't close properly. And this is the closet right here. Here she is in all its glory. Woo! Fun! It's a very small closet. Now, if we turn right over here, you see there is a kind of second opening there was a door previously, but they took it off. If I walk over here, it leads to the living room, 
and uh, right now I'm currently in the hallway that you saw when you come from the front door. All right, let's walk, let's walk, let's walk. And here's the living room. This is the living room. This is also exactly where I can hear the neighbors going to the bathroom, doing their business and taking their shower. Very lovely. Also next to this wall is also the neighbors that are always fighting. This living room is very, very dark. Actually, there's like no sun at all. There's also no heat, so it's very cold. So surprisingly enough, I don't really spend much time here because it's just not very warm and inviting. Um, let's see. We've got the lamp right here at the corner. It's from Canadian Tire, Canadian store that I actually worked there for like five years. Yeah, traumatizing years of my life. I'd rather just forget about them. We've got those prints. These are from Society6 and I just got them printed. Um, no, no, I bought them printed. I bought them printed and then I framed them from like cheap frames from Walmart. I think this is like the most expensive thing in my apartment. Oh. No, no, no. These things are the most expensive things from my apartment. This blanket is from Urban Outfitters, as well as these two pillows. Um, but I got them on sale, and I also did like, you know, payments. What is it called? After pay. So I did like multiple payments, because I believe they were more than 50 bucks each, though. So. Okay, this table right here, I don't know if you can see it, let me see. Okay, this table right here, it is uh, my mom actually found it on the street, so she brought it home, of course, and it is now mine. We got a beautiful magazine of Miss Bella Hadid doing her thing, being beautiful. And this couch is from Facebook Marketplace, of course. Okay, let's do a little turn. So we just did like a 180. It's not really a 360, just a 180. We've got this thing right here. I don't even know how you would call it. Wait a second, my frame. This is very hard to do alone. This I believe is called like a buffet, 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 whatever you'd like. And of course it was found on Facebook Marketplace by my mom. And she loves it so much. She's like, you can sell everything except this. This, you're bringing home to me. So I'm gonna keep this. Basically, the, I'm, I'm gonna be selling everything except for my bed and the table and this. I like to call the, this corner the Remember Your Roots corner. If you know anything about like Moroccan culture or Algerian culture, we're very into the ette, which is like, it's minty, very delicious, very delicious. So it's like kind of like tradition to offer a set of a teapot as well as tea glasses. Um, so you can make ette to your guests when they are Visiting. And then we got like some little tagines. These are straight up from the bled from Algeria. And then here, uh, of course, we, we've got the Quran. And right now it's Ramadan, so obviously it should be front and center. Sorry. Front and center. And then this little box right here just has all of my important papers and mail that I get and like random knickknacks. Okay, let's go to the kitchen now. Kitchen! Welcome to the kitchen. This is my favorite space in the whole apartment because it is the brightest. Sometimes I get a corner of sun. I'll show you, come with me. Right here, right here is where I get a little bit of sun every once in a while. And that's where I film all of my close-up videos. Anything that you see in direct sun, this is where it was filmed. Here we got the fridge. Lovely. This place was actually not furnished, so I had to buy this. I bought the fridge. The... Oh, what is it called? Are you kidding me? And I bought the washing and drying machine because nothing was offered when I first got in here. I sold them to the landlord, so he's taking them over, but he recently tried to scam me, so... If you guys want a story time about how my landlord tried to scam me and he is not a very great person. I thought he was a good person, but recently I found out some things about him I don't like. Some things about his character I don't like. So yeah, he tried to scam me. Anyways, sold them to him. 
they're gonna stay here thankfully that is a big stress that i was like ah, i don't wanna deal with them so. well i don't know what to tell you it's very basic little oven and what do you call this oh my god this little thing is fantastic it is just so great you can just push it out it has my nespresso machine it has my nutribullet a bunch of like pots and pans right here it's really great it's from ikea all right these are staying here i'm so thankful for like this window this is where i get some sun and especially when it's like direct sunlight you see with this disco ball it'll just like beam the whole place and there'll be like little reflections of sunlight it is so beautiful but i haven't seen that i haven't seen that in one month because there hasn't been any direct sun we've only been having rain fog today is actually the only sunny day did you know that i have to film today because it's the only sunny day tomorrow is going to be raining here i just keep all of my recycling dirty clothes and whatnot then let's move over here just your regular kitchen it's very small and also it's very low so it's actually very bad for my back i'm just finding reasons to complain but no but it's important when you're cooking it's important so i do most of my cooking on the washing and drying machine <laughs> microwave is actually from home so i'll probably keep this this is thrifted like everything in here boom I don't have much food because I'm trying to eat everything so I can leave. All of this probably most likely thrifted. Or some things that I got back in the days when I used to work at Canadian Tire. And I would get very good discounts because I was an employee. I was an employee of the month. Just kidding. <laughs> we didn't do that because they didn't care about us. Um, but back then, I, ha I was an employee, I had a 10% discount and sometimes the best thing is actually when someone would return something and it was not like damaged enough where you had to throw it out but it wasn't like pristine enough so you could put it back on the shelves so what they would do is they would just like heavily discount it like almost 50, 60, 70% discounted and then on top of that I would get my 10% so that was very very lovely and that's how I got a lot of dishes, a lot of pots and pans, and that's how I got my Nespresso machine. I actually got it for 40 bucks, but it was a few years ago. Oh, and then here, this is it. Cool. Yeah, you guessed it. The bathroom. I'm just gonna show you. I can't even fit in here and fit the camera. It's that small, so. Oh. I'll just open the light and welcome to the bathroom. Woo. And there you go. Oh, I look rough. And what is this? And that was my apartment tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will not miss this place if i'm being honest lack of sun loud neighbors feeling the most depressed of my life no goodbye <laughs> in all seriousness this is a great first apartment and i did not say how much i pay for it i pay 705 dollars per month however my landlord my little landlord he raised oh my god what is this please ignore i'm telling you to ignore but i don't think i can ignore in the midst of a renting crisis and in the middle of the pandemic, homeboy was like, oh, I'm gonna use this opportunity to make more money. Cause I'm just so money hungry. And he raised the price to $865. That place is not worth that. Have fun, next person who's gonna live here. I hope you like it. And I love you guys. I'm gonna see you in my next one. And hopefully back at home. Love you, bye.